Hey guys, and welcome back to Undertale. So last we left off, we had fought with Flowey the Abomination, and he told me to go and speak to Undyne. So while we travel through uh, Asgore's little throne room, full of beautiful birds, and then back through the Graying Kingdom, I kind of wanted to just think about what had just happened and what transpired through that whole thing. Why would he give me that info? Why? Huh. I mean, it was it was like a major mind trip, right? He turns into this god thing. Why doesn't he just... I don't know. If he's truly hellbent on seeing me struggle and seeing me suffer through that whole thing, why did he give me any of that info? I mean, other than the fact that it's a game, but, you know, whatever. And that's kind of the plot, I suppose. But I guess we'll go and see what there is to be seen with the dreaded killer fish Undyne. So, um, not really sure how I'm going to get back there, though. It's probably going to be a very long walk. Hey guys. Uh, comes prey. I had to remember what it was. Was it prey? Yeah, it was prey. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I dodged Flowey just fine, but this guy's just like. Nope. Attack dropped. Come on. Oh god. It wasn't mystified. That's right. Ah! Please don't kill me. Otherwise, I have to go all the way through that again. I have Starve. And down again. And this way. And I think, if I remember correctly, Undyne lives in, like, Waterfall, right? So it might, it might be a bit of time. So this episode might run a little long, just simply because there's really not a whole lot going on at the moment, except for me just wandering haphazardly back. Music's pretty stellar, though, so that's a cool thing. Wait, there's an... There was an elevator right there. I probably completely missed it, too. Where the portion to get to where I needed to be was. Uh, oh well. Anyway. Did that one already. If only I had Sans power to get around. That would be really nice. You know, from one part of like the area to another. So, oh well. But I don't, so. Oh, darn it, okay. Hmm. Well, just mindless meandering for a bit until I find Zadia Undyne. Any ice cream left? Nope, okay. Uh, this way? I think I'm on the right path, so. Who are you? Metaton looked really, really cool in that dress. It sort of makes me feel like I could wear one too. You do you, buddy. Spiderwebs. There you are, Jerry. Oh, she's already said that before. Okay. Do 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 do. And more no music. That's cool, though. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Smell of cobwebs filled you with determination. So... What am I gonna find when I find Undyne again? What is going to be the solution to the puzzle, I guess, is what I'm asking. Uh, yeah. We 
we talked about that before. You're completely out of cash. I feel like there's some sort of fast travel thing that I'm completely missing. But I, th I think that's okay, because maybe I'll find my way out. Is this... I don't even remember where I started from. Let's go right to floor three. I'm going to get lost here. I just know it. That's that guy. Oh, darn it. Okay. Um... Right floor... One. I can't believe I just did a complete circle without even realizing it. What is this? Well, I'm on the... Okay, I'm at the bottom of the core now. That's where I wanted to be. Nope. I want to save. Just in case. The cooking show. Okay. Let's wander across the set. What? What on earth? Did I... Did I do something wrong? Am I... Am I going the wrong way? I don't understand. Fine, I'll go to... Left floor one. See where that puts me. Maybe this puts me out of here. This feels like out. Oh, yep, there's the lab. Okay. What's down here? Oh, you're creepy. I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Care to join me? Uh, yes? Where will you go? Oh, okay, so there is a fast travel. Okay. Waterfall, please. Then we're off. You have a really cool boat, dude. Tra-la-la. -la. The waters are wild today. That's good luck. Thanks, buddy. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Um, so where from here do I go to Undyne's place? Hmm. Is it this way? Uh, I want to say it's this way. Oh, yeah. Um, because. That's Blook Farms. That's Napster Blook's house. Okay. And it was... There was a fishy... F well, hello, Papyrus. Oh -ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes? Okay! Stand behind me! Psst! Make sure to give her this! She loves these! A golden bone? Wait, so Papyrus wants me to give her my... his... Mm. <sighs> Papyrus. Uh, hey, Undyne. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Uh, why don't you two come in? Oh boy. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you, on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, um, 
put it with the others. <laughs> so are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! You son of a bitch. Uh, so, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No? Then why are you here? Wait. I get it. You think I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? No. What? First you parade into my house, then you insult me! You little brat! I have a, I have half a mind to... Wait... I'll prove you wrong. We are going to be friends. That is a creepy smile. In fact, we are going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, your whole life will revolve around me. It's the perfect revenge. <laughs> Uh, now, why don't you have a seat? Uh, Pyrus? I can't believe he reps through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. <laughs> One time, Alphys's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano. And fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Is she talking about Metaton? She's talking about Metaton. Yeah, she's talking about Metaton. It's so nice to have you over. Why don't you take a seat at the table? Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point. This giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten... No. Ten times their size. Right? True. <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and, Al me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look inside of... I'm gonna look inside of Undyne's bone drawer. You're welcome. The, what is the... I'm being trolled by a dog. This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I mean, of course. What, what silverware drawer would be complete? In, every silverware drawer is incomplete without nunchucks. I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! I love you, Undyne. Okay, I'll, I'll sit... I'll sit down and prog progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Ah, uh, what is all that? All set! What would you like? Oh god! Hey, don't get up! You're the guest, sit down and enjoy yourself! Okay. Uh, um... Why don't you point to what you want? You can use a spear! 
sickly yellow liquid. Sugar goes in the tea. I don't want to drink Undyne. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. Let's go blue cylinder. Tea. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Fridge full of food. Sword. Acquired taste. I I'm, I'm tempted to, like, just throw it at everything other than the blatantly correct choice. Uh, can I point it at the door? <laughs> kind of want to go. Oh, if I throw it at Undyne, she'll probably be super angry at me. Okay, um... Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Sickly yellow liquid? Oh, soda. Actually. Even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. Rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? What was with that, like... That? You're so spirited? I, I'm, I'm curious about the smile on your face. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not giving you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Depends on where you're from. Mostly no, though. Are, are there ice cream songs a prelude of destruction? Is that it? Yes? What? Really? <laughs> that rules! Uh, I want a nice hot cup of Undyne. Are you hitting on me? Sure. Uh, let's see the sword. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords if you want my beloved house guest. <laughs> uh, what else? The fridge! You want to have the entire fridge? No! Nine! <laughs> okay, tea box is blatantly the correct choice. Cause it's, I Tea, huh? Coming right up! She looks so uncomfortable. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's all done! Here you are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already! Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that sh you chose that tea, golden flower tea. So that's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know... I was pretty hot he I was a pretty hot headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And verse the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. After that afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me. Do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. 
and then from on, and and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the royal guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dogs to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into this royal guard. Don't, don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I'll, I'll give you that. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. Accurate. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So... Um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was talking for a long time. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not... Here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. What? What? That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his cooking lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Are we going to fuse? <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be best friends. Goddamn. What? Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Oh, you pound. Wimpy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god! Stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done. No! <laughs> What? Ugh. We'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in the pot? Fiercefully! Fiercely. Same thing. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright! It's time to stir the pasta. There's no water in there, right? As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it! Alright, stir harder! 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 Oh, let me do it! Whoa! <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright. Now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back! Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, God. Harder! What? Harder! Damn it! Harder! Wait. That's too... <laughs> ah. Man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. 
burned your house down. So what's next? Scott booking? Friendship bracelets? Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed up this, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. So people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I've even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on! Hit me with all you got! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. <laughs> what? Is that the best you can manage? Not even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Uh, huh. You know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. First, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick. But... The way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone you used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart! Aw, thanks, Undyne, I think. Just like him. Uh, listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take Zelstor instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh. And if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. So that's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get out of my this flaming house. <laughs> okay, Undyne. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh... Somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh! And if you ever need help, just, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but, uh... Can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you. But he told me when I still hated you, so... Uh, anyway, here, just just take it. You got Undyne's letter. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it! To, to who? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Alphys. Okay, see you later. The, the building is crying. <laughs> Okay, so that was interesting. <laughs> All right, so Alphys then, right? So let's find the river person again and go to Alphys. Here you are. Tra la la, careful ride. I'm oh, God. I'm still doing Undyne's voice. Yes. Uh, Hotland. Then we're off. What, what? Why is it a cat? Why is it a freaking cat? Tra la la, Timmy Village. The room before the darkened lantern room. God, God bless it. Well, you know what? Come again sometime. Tra la la. You know what? I've honestly stopped asking questions. I shouldn't ask questions about this game anymore because I don't think I'm like ever gonna get a correct answer. Well, Alphys, the door has no has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Slide. Slide the door. Slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Hmm? Oh! Oh no! 
Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? Oh, no, no. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Hmm? Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who it could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I, I had... Um, you... Hmm... Wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't... I don't really deserve to be forgiven much, much, um, this, uh, and so passionately, too. Uh, you know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Dating start? Okay. Question, oh. Uh, sorry, it's just, I'm getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick this dress out. She's got a great sense of... Um... Anyway, let's do this thing! Hey, 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 wait! Actually... We can't start the date yet. Dating stop? <laughs> um... I've gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase your chance of successful outcome on to a date. I, I think under mm. Alphys, you've spent too many times playing dating sims, right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've uh, I've been stockpiling gifts for, in anticipation for a like, date like this. First, I've, I've got s some metal armor polish. Uh, um, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your uh. Scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start! Yeah, let's do, uh, date! Uh... Do you like anime? Yes? <laughs> Me too! Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? Uh I've I've got it! Let's go to the garbage dump. Smooth. <clears throat> Here we are! This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really, uh, hmm. Oh no. That's her over there. I can't, I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, um, oh no. Here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna do it. Give it to me! Huh? You don't have it? Ah! Have you at least seen her? Yeah? Yes? So she's around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make me feel be make me feel better. Uh, well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. 
I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, I really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, uh, cool, but uh, Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just like nobody and a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but like, all I've done is hurt people. And I've told so many lies. She thinks I'm. She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll. She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or truth where neither of us are. They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> uh, no. You're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what people... What will happen if people learn the truth on their own? They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr the, 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 the truth? I, d I, I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? Uh, that actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? Um, you'll be Undyne. Oh god, I don't know. Okay, um... I mean, I've got her accent down pretty well. Alright, alright. I'll be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> uh, hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute! Th thanks! You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But I know, you just mean it platonically because we're friends really <laughs> uh, uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something then she kisses you okay what is it um, you see I I haven't been exactly truth truthful with with, with you, you you see, I... I... Oh, forget it! Undyne, I... I want to tell you how I feel! You're so brave and, and strong and nice! You always listen to me when I talk about n nerdy stuff! You always... You always do the best to make me, f me feel special! I, like telling me y y you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way! Undyne, I can't take this any longer! I'm madly in love with you! Hold me, Undyne! <laughs> what did you say? Uh, Undyne! I was just... Hey, whoa. Wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Huh? Wait a second. Are you two... on a date? Uh, yes! I mean, uh, no! I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were on an only romantic friends role playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? What about? About, well, everything. I told you that the scene was like, really, I just wanted to make ice cream, and those human history books were kept reading, those are actually dorky comic books, and history movies, those, those are actually just anime, and then they aren't real, and the time I told you about busy work on the phone, I, I was actually eating frozen yogurt and pajamas at that time, I, Alphys, I, I just wanted to impress you, I just wanted to think, you to think I was smart and cool, that I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys? Undyne, I... I really want to think... I really think you're neat, okay? 
out of his. Shh. Shh. Aww. <laughs> Ten points. Alphys, I... I think you're neat, too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons if you, or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is ner just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to me any to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know you're just... I know just the training you need to do that. <laughs> Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? Pfft. But me? Oh god. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. God, I forgot to do his, his accent. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? It's time to start the timer. Uh, Undyne? I'll, I'll, I'll do my best! Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons? Those comics? Those are... Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Uh... Anime's totally real, dude. Ha <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magic princesses, here I come! Huh? Uh... Thanks for talking, taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but, uh... Seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I got to go catch up with them. Later. Put a little French there. Sorry about that. Okay then. <laughs> that took a ridiculous turn for the worse. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Accurate. <clears throat> well, um. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, yet again, another ridiculous episode of Undertale. And I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here for now. And we'll be back again later on with another ridiculous episode of Undertale. So until then, take care, and I'll see you next time.